and booktube welcome back have you guys ever been on a road trip and you've been all packed and you've known exactly what you're gonna take and you've got all your clothes packed and you're ready to go and you're in the car well you're not quite in the car you're just about to leave your house and you realize you haven't packed a book no of course not because you're a book nerd just like us and we always have I just referred to myself as us okay self-reflection this is not a great place for self-reflection I need to stop doing that Dramatic intro. Do you ever just have that problem where you have all your clothes packed and everything's ready to go but you still haven't chosen the perfect book and you know you shouldn't take 12 books on holiday so you try and whittle it down and whittle it down. Well, I have a book for you. I have a perfect book for you. You've probably all read it before because it is amazing and it does have a TV show already, but uh, if you haven't read it, you need to read Neil Gaiman, of course, American Gods. It's really good. I went on a road trip of Australia recently for about six weeks, or oh, probably about five weeks actually, because one week of it I spent at a paleontological dig, but the other five weeks I was uh, with my mum and it was just us in the car and we camped a lot of the way and we just were on the road most of the time and it was so cool. It was such a great experience and a lot of flat, straight, boring roads. And that's sort of a theme, but not really, but sort of one of many, many themes in American Gods. So quite often I would have driven a long day and then gotten to bed and just be reading my book and then he'd be up for a long drive and I'd be like, that is so relevant to what is happening. And then, of course, it would go into the actual storyline and the absurdity that uh, Neil Gaiman writes and I would just be like, ha, huh, ha, uh, the escapism, there it is, <laughs> which was just so, so nice to read while on a road trip. The story itself, while being very thick, is very easy to read in that it flows and it's amazingly worded because Neil Gaiman is just the best wordsmith ever. A big call, I know, but I'm a use it because I really, really enjoy the way he writes. So the storyline itself follows this guy here named Shadow and he gets out of jail and then goes on this epic road trip with his new employer which just gets grander and grander and more and more epic literally as it goes on and on and on. It's worth it. It is worth it totally. It's amazing. I feel like if I was to go on a big road trip again I would take this book with me and even if I didn't read it all I would read little bits of it just to kind of familiarize myself with road tripping it feels like it's very iconic to that type of holidaying. Um, which is odd because I don't do that for anything else and it's such a big book to lug around but it's definitely worth packing even if it is one of your 12 because <laughs> we all take 12 books on holidays we do because I'm very invested in this book right so I'm always emotional and Neil Gaiman is always creepy and he sometimes is a little bit too much and I have to put him down and come back to him. Um, I have a very vivid imagination and things play on my mind a lot so if I get worried about something in the book one of two things have to happen. I either have to read it completely until it's done and I know exactly what's going on or I need to put it down for like two or three days and just get out of that headset. So when I was doing that for this book I picked up a little romance which was a Mills and Boone. It's called Her Guardian Knight and it was just <laughs> like epic love stories sort of set in the medieval times and it was cute and very problematic in some areas but I wasn't reading it for like the story or the writing I was just reading it for something to kind of have my for my escapism really <laughs> um, I only read one of the three, there are three in here, so I just read the middle one. But I'm gonna keep this book and I'm gonna read the other two. It was one of those ones that I picked up in the uh, take a book, leave a book libraries that they have at different campsites and things, which was really good. Lastly, the last book that I read, I don't have the physical copy out because it's at my mum's house, but we were traveling into the Red Center and our cousins up there do a lot of uh, nurse work with children. We had a lot of donations of teddy bears and clothes that we picked up along the way and things to take with us but we also had a box of books of children's books for them one of them was one that both mum uh, both mum and I hadn't read called the magic pumpkin nope the magic pudding it was really hard to read actually because it was written so long ago and it was almost like a poem so it was quite a long story too and it was in sections where it repeated itself but the magic pudding was it was problematic to read in that you'd think you'd get into the flow but then the flow would change completely and it would just be 
you'd be struck by the different sorts of language that we don't use anymore, which was really interesting to read and it was very Ocker Australian um, sort of outback feels. So I had a really good time reading that out loud in the car to my mum over a course of two days while we were just on straight flat road where there was nothing, no fences, no hills, no no houses, no, no shops, no anything. Like literally the next rest stop was 73 kilometers away. We read that as a form of escapism because we didn't really have the radio because I had broken it earlier so we did end up traveling for five weeks without a radio. Whoops. So we couldn't listen to audiobooks but we had to listen to me read out loud which I actually really enjoy doing. So that was really good fun. So my number one road trip recommendation is American Gods and probably always will be. There's just something so structurally road trip about it that I really enjoyed. Um, it's not a road trip book, like it's not just look at this place, look at that place, look at this place. It's full storyline, like full fantasy fiction, which makes it definitely very cool uh, for me. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. How do you turn this thing off?